Hey crazy folders! In this video I want to show you how to fold the little dog by Bath Duncan. It's a simple model and you can fold it from near any kind of paper. I will use self-made tissue foil. It has a size of 15 cm and is duo colored. The final size with 15 cm square will be something like this. If you like a smaller dog like this, you have to use something like 10 cm square. So let's start. Colored side down and right side up. And first you fold a diagonal. Open it again. And now you have to make a pinch on the middle crease. But don't make a small pinch. You can fold about one third, the middle third of the crease. Like this. Now you fold this edge to the middle crease. And repeat with this edge. Now fold the model in half. And you have the pinch line here. You fold this edge to the pinch. Like this. So, pinch line. Open it again and you have to reverse fold this. So open this part and change this valley fold into a mountain fold. So you have two mountain folds and close this again with a valley fold and this crease turns into a mountain fold. Like this. Next, you fold this edge to the tail edge. And make a valley fold from this point to this point. Now you fold this tip to the top point and fold this tip down again on this edge. Like this. And fold the tip a bit up again, but not, uh, yeah, something like a third, like this. Then open it all again until this point, and you have to reverse outside reverse fold on this line. So open this. And turn 
this valley fault into a mountain fault. And turn this mountain fault into a valley fault and close it again like this. So now you have to outside reverse fault on this crease line. So open the model and make a valley fault on the top line. Like this. And make a valley fault on the middle li line. And a valley fault on the last line. Like this, and then close it again. Now you fold this edge to this edge. And open it again. Repeat on the other side. And reverse fold it. So open this. You have to make a mountain fold on this little part. So push this in and close it again. So just like this. Do it on the other side. Open this. Push this in and close again. Now you open this front in the middle and push the head and put it a bit inside. So make a mountain fold on this line and on the other side and then push it a bit in and fold it flat. So it's crimp fold like this. Now you make a mountain fold like this, fold precisely, open it again, and you have to sink this part, close sink this part, so open the model a bit, and the head, like this, and then you have to push in this. It's not that easy with special file. So, something like this. Now you reverse fold the tail, so open it a bit, push it over, and you can fold it like you want, so you can make it a bit longer or a bit shorter and more high or down. So
If you like very abstract models, you can leave it like this, but you can also shape it a bit. So you can fold the tip a bit inside like this, and you can make a little swivel fold here. like this and on the other side like this now you can open the ears a bit Pull it out here. Like this. You can also make the tail a bit thinner, so make a valley fold like this. Crease firmly, open it again, and Open this part, make for the well, uh, mountain falls, like this, and valley falls in there, and close it again. like this. Now you can fold in this tip a bit. Like this. And make two mountain folds here. You can also make a curved fold, but on this one I will make two mountain folds, like this, put on the other side, This. and you can form the shape the back like this you can also make a valley fold here on the top part and push this together and make mountain falls like this and two new valley falls here so push this together and then you have the head a bit higher So, that's it. You can shape the tail a bit or make this part rounder, more round and yeah, try it by yourself. You can vary it in many ways. So, good luck and happy folding.